this is a two-sided thing. They're both saying, and I will say, uh, experience, reality, people, whatever you want to talk about, doesn't really consist of entities, of defined... I mean, there are entities and defined units, but it doesn't... nothing really consists of those. Everything is more than that. And there are two sides to saying that. One is that it's not understandable just in terms of what you can define and say. And the other, of course, is that it is understandable in how we live, how we are, what we speak from. And I want to emphasize, since I'm third and I get to do that, uh, the side of both speakers that brought you how we do understand more than and differently than in defined terms and concepts and entities and cut and dried distinctions and either ors and and implicit taken as an entity all over again. Not only did they say no, we don't, we are not limited to that, but they also said we do, we are, we understand, we have something to say, we listen, we hear. Donnell was saying it's got to fit and then he had another word which I wrote down because, oh yes, the question is when you say something, does it do it justice? Well, we have now had 30 years of people emphasizing the un. It's not linear, it's not uh, defined, it's not to the point where a lot of people gloried in upsetting everybody and saying there's nothing. There's nothing at the bottom. <laughs> we make it up. It's all interpretation, but there's nothing there to interpret, Nietzsche said. It's all, it's all, it's all uh, made up. There's nothing there. These people are well beyond that point, correct? You do it justice. It has to fit. It's not just the brain, it's the whole body, she said. So I heartily agree. It's not going to be reducible to neurology. When I was a student, I was supposed to be chemistry. Now I'm supposed to be neurology. <laughs> but you see, science advances. It makes more and more of these beautiful, helpful an analyses that help us make things. Well, let's not put down the technology that lets six billion people live in the world. Let's not put it down, but let's just understand that this human capacity to make entities doesn't do away with where we live, doesn't do away with where we make entities from and check them against. They have to do it just as science operates in interaction. It, they just don't remind you of this. They always say everything is the way we say it is this year. You know, five years ago we said all kinds of other things and those aren't even there anymore in the library. They're over in the archives. <laughs> history of science. And so five years from now it'll all be different. But that doesn't mean it isn't precious and life-saving as far as we've gotten, whatever we've got. So I'm not putting down entities and logic and science and computers and technology, and I don't think they were either. I'm just saying we need to understand that in a wider frame. And what's this wider frame? Well, it's the implicit, okay. Uh, now that uh, Donna's done with that job, I have to say <laughs> mine is the philosophy of implicit intricacy to keep it from falling into one slot or another. And by intricacy I mean what, let me, let me finish saying, I would like you to shift from the un, the non, the nothing place to the realization that we speak from, which they both said also, that we speak from there and we think from there. And where is there? Well, from the un, the non, the nothing place to the realization that we speak from, which they both said also, that we speak from there and we think from there. And where is there? Well, 
I'm talking to you and I'm saying there is sitting in the chair where you sit. You might just be preoccupied with listening to my words, so you have no other words in your mind right now but my words. But you're not my words. And you're also not hearing my words as if they were just my words. You're hearing them with the implicit intricacy that is there with you. And one of the things that I plead for is when you use concepts and theories and all that precious clarity, bring the implicit with you. <laughs>